Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Mirage 2000 and we're looking at Cold Start with full INS alignment. So we're starting here at the main screen. We need to ensure that our Mirage is set up correctly in our game options. Options there, special, find the Mirage 2000, click on it there. First, make sure your copy is English, otherwise it won't match up with what I'm doing here. Make sure the INS does not require alignment box is not ticked. This will ensure that it does require alignment. Okay, in a cold mirage now, let's get started. Handbrake, up to make sure we don't roll. Canopy, close with right click. Click on the strut, left click. Left click to seal. Next, battery, on. Next, down to our starter panel and boost pump, on. Boost pump, on. Fuel cut cover, off. Starter switch cover, up. Next we need to check that our throttle is in stop position and just to make sure we'll click the button there. It is. Next press the starter switch. Next wait until this gauge reads at least 10% engine speed. Next move our throttle forward and then backwards into idle position. Next down to our check panel down here. Autopilot test cover up and test switch on. Next, interior lighting on as required. Next, we need to start our INS alignment, so let's switch to that. Operation mode knob to N, and it already is. INS mode selector to standby. INS parameter selector to lat long. Bring up our kneeboard with the right shift, kilo. We're going to shift pages, and I'll quickly show you how to do that. We can shift pages with that button and that button. We're going to shift right page one, right page two. Our current position is lat that, long that, altitude that. We can see that it does not match up with what we've got on our system, so we do need to realign. We can confirm that here. It says INS requires full alignment. Let's get it done. So I want to edit first this field here. So that is plus one, north or south. I want north. Type the lat in two, five, zero, six, eight, one insert I could delete as well insert next we're going to edit this field here plus three east or west east zero five six one nine 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 insert parameter selector two altitude check 31 meters 31 meters is correct but for just for good practice we'll change it anyway plus three plus uh, 30 one meters insert okay we're done here back to operation mode sts to monitor ins alignment progress mode selector to align check we've got flashing orange align we have and validate it's now going to align we've got a number here showing how many seconds is required for the current stage of alignment there are four stages of alignment in total all four stages of alignment take about eight minutes to align. Here is a percentage of completion inversed. So it starts at 100%. When it's finished, it will be 0%. That's the point when our alignment is fully done. We do not want to move the aircraft or do anything to do with the alignment until that is complete. Right shift kilo to get rid of our kneeboard. Let's continue with the rest of our startup. ECM on right click rwr right click on mws right click on jammer semi-automatic right click on the ecm mode to square with right click iff to sect with right click three switches on the right pitot heat emergency hydraulics and audible warnings left click left click left click cancel the audio warning like that turn the hud on right click there next turn the radar scope on left click there check the progress of the autopilot check and it's green so put the switch down cover on next we're going to do the fcs the flight control system check cover up and turn it on and leave that to operate next radar master mode from off to warm up and leave that to warm up next exterior lighting Anti-collision as required, nav lights as required, formation lights as required, taxi and landing lights as required. Next, digital radio, right click to FF, on, analog radio, right click.
to on. FCS configuration switch as required. So you've got essentially uh, air to ground and air to air. Next, check progress of FCS check. We've got a green light. Switch off, right click, cover, down, left click. Next, check our indicator and warning lights to check we've got no warnings. Only thing in warning is parking brake and we know that we're going to release that only once we've completed our alignment. Next, we want to uncage our backup ADI. I can't actually get this to work at the moment. It used to work. I believe you're meant to pull it out like that and then rotate it. But like I said, I can't get it to work. If you can get it to work, please let us know. But that should be uncaged and the cage flag should be removed. We're done as far as we can before the enough alignment completes. So we're going to fast forward so you can see it go. You can see now that stage four has been completed. It's now working on stage three. A line has changed to PRET. Technically, we can scramble and take off now and we'll, we will have a low accuracy of alignment done. If we have the opportunity, we really want to wait the full eight minutes until all four quadrants are complete. Speed up. So three and four are done. Three, four and two are done. We're working on the last section now. 2% to go, eight seconds to go. And we are finished. Pret is now solid. 0% to go. We are now finished. We will now have our operation mode back to N. And we will have our mode selector to right click to nav. We can now take our handbrake off. Now turn our nose wheel steering on. We can now remove our chocks with communications menu, ground crew, wheel chocks, remove. Wait for chocks. Wheel chocks have now been removed. That is a fully started and completely accurately aligned Mirage. Throttle forward, taxi, and go and kill some MiGs. Additional, we found out how to get the backup ADI functioning. We've got a switch down here I never knew about. Backup heading, it's called. We've got on, middle position, and off. We're going to go to the middle position here. And we now have the ability of uncaging our little guy here. Like, oops, uh like thus we now have an uncaged adjustable backup adi i hope that was useful and see you later